so today i am going to teach you how to enable patch options in ida pro so at first we go to we install ida pro and uh, here ida pro is starting and uh, here it i have downloaded a freeware version of ida pro installing it to here you can see c program files ida free this will be required further so remember that and uh, we just create a desktop icon so that I have not look it up here and there and uh, it is being installed so we launch IDA Pro and uh, I go to enable I go to PC executable click OK and uh, select a file and I want to disassemble it overwrite it import and start uh, keep everything default and now here you can see our file has been loaded now if we want to edit any segment of this file we cannot do it until we enable patch options in it here you can see there is no any patch options because it has been disabled in the latest IDA Pro so you have to enable it manually so that we can edit any line anything or uh, reassemble it so keep this in mind so to enable the patch options what will we do at first we close it don't pack database and uh, do you want to continue of course I want and uh, go to the installation folder here it is the installation folder we go to IDA free and in this folder C program files IDA free go to CFZ folder here you can see IDA GUI dot CFZ we have to edit this file and uh, we have to display here you see this option display path sub menu is equal to no here just press yes no don't press yes type yes and remember it is all in capital it is all in capital letters and there is a space between y and is equal to sign so remember it i am also enabling one of one feature that is display command line and now we just save it and here you can see it has asked to save it we do we want to save it as it is so save ida cfz already exists do you want to replace it of course i want my new configuration to exist and here you can see a message has been popped out saying access is denied so in that case what you should do you just save this file at another location say at desktop so I am going to save this file at desktop with all files and uh, just save it and now this file has been saved on desktop but not here here it is the original file uh, we confirm it here you can see display path sub menu is equal to no but we want it to be yes so we just minimize it and here you can see there is a file which we saved till which we have saved this time and now just copy this file and uh, go to this and uh, just try to paste it here it will ask for you the destination already has a file name replace the file you will need to administrator permissions I give you the permission and here you can see file had been replaced since file had been replaced and in that file there should be yes option so we just verified and here you can see yes options have been enabled so now we just go to IDA Pro we restart it and we delete this file and uh, we open again a new file I'm going to repeat the same steps and uh, here you can see our file has been opened now you can select any text edit anything because here you see there is a patch program options where you can change byte change words and reassemble it suppose we go to change byte and here you can see each and every byte of this data can be changed isn't it interesting why here ffcc and uh, in hex view here you see we have selected this segment and the hex value of this segment is f starting from ffcc ending to 00 
and when we go to edit patch program change by it and here you can see it is selected ffcc 3100 and so on so here you can edit various bytes file offset has been set to 0 cross 1 2 4 4 and so on so now you can set it whatever you like suppose we i like to write hello no this no hello well this is not uh, the correct format but uh, i am writing it mm, not like that uh, 12 a 1 5 4f and you see 12 a1 and 4f has been replaced so in this way you can replace anything with anything whatever you like so thank you for watching this video we will we will meet soon with some more advanced